all laws in the United States begin as bills. Before the bill can become a law, it must be approved by the U.S. House of Representatives, the U.S. Senate, and the President. Today, these young men will help us demonstrate some of the process it takes for a bill to become a law. And the bill begins. Laws begin as ideas. These ideas could come from a representative or a citizen. Citizens who have ideas for a law can contact their local representatives and if they agree, they research it more and write it into a bill. When a re representative has written a bill, the bill needs a sponsor. The representative talks with other representatives about the bill in hopes of getting their support for it. Once a bill is a sponsor and the support of some of the representatives, it is ready to be introduced. In the U.S. House of Representatives, a bill is introduced when it is placed in the hopper, a special box on the side of the clerk's desk. Only representatives can introduce bills in the U.S. House of Representatives. When a bill is introduced in the U.S. House of Representatives, a clerk assigns it a number that begins with H.R. A reading clerk then reads the bill to all the representatives, and the Speaker of the House sends the bill to one of the House Standing Committees. The bill goes to committee. When the bill reaches committee, the committee members or groups of representatives who are experts on topics such as agriculture, education, or international relations, they review, research, and revise the bill before voting on whether or not to send the bill back to the House floor. If the committee members would like more information before deciding if the bill should be sent to the House floor, the bill is sent to a subcommittee. While in subcommittee, the bill is closely examined and expert opinions are gathered before it is sent back to the committee for approval. When the committee has approved a bill, it is sent or reported to the House floor. Once reported, a bill is ready to be debated by the U.S. House of Representatives. An earmark is decided for the bill if needed to figure out if any funding needs to be part put towards the bill. Some representatives may bring federal funding back to where they, where they are from, which is known as pork barrel. When a bill is debated, representatives discuss the bill and explain why they agree or disagree with it. Then a reading clerk reads the bill section by section and the representatives recommend changes. When all changes are made, the bill is ready to be voted on. Also during debate, there is a period of legislative markup, the process in which legislators go over a measure line by line, revising, amending, and rewriting it. Also, a conference committee may be formed during debate. This is a special congressional committee created to negotiate differences on similar pieces of legislation passed by the House and Senate. Also, log rolling may occur, which is an agreement in which two or more members of Congress agree in advance to support each other's favored legislation. The bill is then sent to be voted on. If the majority of the representatives say yes, the bill passes in the House of Representatives and the bill is certified by the clerk of the House and then it is sent to the Senate to be voted on. The bill is referred to the Senate. When a bill reaches the U.S. Senate, it goes through many of the same steps it went through in the U.S. House of Representatives. The bill is discussed in the Senate Committee and then reported to the Senate floor to be voted on. Senators vote by voice. Those who support it say yeah, and those who oppose say nay. If the majority of the senators say yay, the bill passes in the U.S. Senate and is ready to go to the President. When a bill reaches the President, he has three choices. He can sign and pass the bill, the bill becomes a law. He can refuse to sign or veto the bill, 
The bill is sent back to the U.S. House of Representatives, along with his reasons for the veto. If the U.S. House of Representatives and Senate still believe the bill should become a law, they can hold another vote on the bill. If two-thirds of the representatives and senators support the bill, the president's veto is overridden and the bill becomes a law. Or he can do nothing, which is a pocket veto. If Congress is in session, the bill automatically becomes law after 10 days. If they're not in session, the bill does not become a law. And if the bill passed the U.S. House of Representatives, and it passes the U.S. Senate, and has been approved by the President, the then bill, bill becomes, becomes a law. law.